It's no secret that marketing your business on social media is one of the fastest and most effective ways to increase your business's sales, customers, and revenue. But if you wanna make the biggest impact possible, simply showing up and posting isn't enough. You also need to be showing up with the right kind of content, saying the right things in the right way, and sharing the right mix of information, personality, and value in order to build deep and meaningful relationships with your customers. And after over a decade now of creating social media content for some of the biggest names on the planet, I've discovered there are five different types of social media content and messages that will allow you to connect with your audience and customers on a whole other level. So let me walk you through each of the five different kinds of content now, starting with core. Core content is social media content that revolves around your personal or business philosophy. Essentially, what you believe, why you believe it, and why it's important to you. You could call this your mission, your vision, your values, your goals, your North Star, your focus, whatever. But core content is your opportunity to build a deeper connection with your customers by bonding over shared values and the kinds of things that are not only important to you, but also that you would like to see in the kinds of customers that you want to attract. But here's the kicker. When it comes to your values and beliefs, sometimes you can just come right out and say it. By royal decree, I do declare waffles to be superior to pancakes. Their tiny pockets keep the syrup contained and their crispy outer layer delivers a satisfying crunch that pancakes simply cannot provide. But other times you can Bake it in a little more subtly, simply by mentioning things you do, are interested in, or that make up your everyday life. For example, scattered around my office, I've got guitars and cameras and a bunch of other random stuff, including a giant 10 pound book by Seth Godin that clearly reflects my marketing influences. But you can also take this a step further by sharing your personal story or the story behind why you do what you do. What made you start doing this in the first place? What did you see that led you to take action and start your business? Why do you still keep doing this today? For example, when I first started marketing my business on social media over a decade ago, I was writing blog articles with the sole intention of making money and growing my business. I wasn't trying to save the world or do anything like that. I was just broke and hungry and I wanted more. So I got to work. But over time, those blog articles evolved into social media posts, then podcasts, then videos, and then to courses and programs, and all kinds of other content that I'd like to believe is at least a little bit helpful to anyone that comes across it. But it started simple, and it's a powerful reminder of what's possible, and how if I can do it, then you can do it too. Anyway, now some good news, and a bit of a side note here, is I don't want you to feel like everything you do or talk about or share on social media needs to be deeply emotional or completely profound. Simply sharing insights or giving a look behind the scenes or a quick update on the endless river of stuff that's happening to you every single day is more than enough to create a connection and also ensures that you'll pretty much never run out of things to talk about. The fact is that stories are what connect us, even stories about the mundane and everyday things that happen in real life. So think of any movies or TV shows that you've recently watched, any conversations you've had with friends, or any books, articles, or blog posts that you've read. Because all of these are going to provide the raw materials that, when filtered and processed through your unique point of view and experiences, are going to make up powerful little pieces of content that help to connect, all while making you way more relevant and way more relatable to your audience and ideal customers. Okay, next up is the secret to creating viral content and is also one of, if not the fastest ways to build a loyal customer base of lifelong fans. But before we get to that, we first need to tackle a technical question, which is what's the best way to create, schedule, and manage all of this social media content? And the answer to that question can be found in this video's sponsor, Metricool. I'm excited to share this with you because Metricool has quickly become my number one secret weapon when it comes to creating better and more effective social media marketing campaigns by allowing me to take care of everything all in one place. It integrates with Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, LinkedIn, YouTube, and more, and planning, creating, and posting content with Metricool saves me around two to three hours each week. It shows you the best times to post, has the power to auto-publish Instagram and Facebook stories, and even has an AI text generator. That's a great starting point if you're having a bit of a creative block or need some new ideas. Where things get really interesting though is what happens after you post your content. And this is what really separates the amateur marketers from the pros. And that my friend is all about analytics and using data to help make informed and strategic social media decisions. So make sure to check out Metricool by clicking the link in the descriptions below this video. And when you use the code Adam, you can try any premium plan for 30 days for completely free. So with that said, let's talk about the next kind of content you need to be creating on social media, which is, contrarian content. 
As an overly friendly Canadian and recovering people pleaser, I've always found it interesting that contrarian content is one of my personal favorite kinds of content to create. But it's probably because contrarian content gives you the opportunity to share any beliefs or views you have that go against or challenge industry norms or dogma and tackle them head on. Content you create here should explain why the normal or accepted way of doing things in your industry is just wrong provide reasons behind what's wrong with it, and deliver the tragic consequences for any and all that fall into the trap of believing these industry lies. For example, carrying on with my waffle example from earlier, I could say that waffles are a more sophisticated breakfast food than pancakes because they require specialized waffle making equipment to cook, and therefore take more thought and energy to make. Or to give you a more serious and realistic example, I could talk about marketing, how the reason that most businesses aren't as successful as they want to be online has nothing to do with the content they create and everything to do with the lack of understanding and application of basic marketing principles, which are essential to making sure that your content gets in front of the right people and makes a connection with them. Therefore, my contrarian view on social media marketing is that you don't need to do everything, you don't need to be everywhere. You just need to be present and active on the few channels that your ideal customers engage with and then go out of your way to connect with them there. Okay, next up, consult content. Consult content, also commonly referred to as how-to content, is all about providing value to your audience by helping them to do or accomplish something by showing them the right steps to take. Consult content is the hardest to technically make because it requires really knowing your stuff well enough to teach it to someone. But, at least in my experience, this kind of content can also be the easiest to make emotionally because it allows you to hide behind your content and make the facts and the figures and the teaching the main star of the show rather than you and your personality. In other words, Words, this kind of content allows you to just say what you have to say and then move on. I know this because this is what I did for years. How to hard teaching, here's the facts kind of stuff. And while it worked pretty good, it was only when I started incorporating more of my weird, I mean unique personality and allowing more of my human side to show that my social media channels really started to grow. So yes, consult content is important and can help establish you as an expert and authority in your industry. Not to mention you actually get to help a whole lot of people who are looking for information on how to do something or achieve a certain kind of result. But it's only one piece of the puzzle. So on that note, let's keep going and talk about case study content next. Case study content is client or customer stories, testimonials, case studies, or interviews. This is your chance to showcase how your business has helped others, and it's important because it allows your work to speak for itself by showing what you've done, or more accurately, by allowing others to show how what you've done has helped them. And when you use customer testimonials or case studies or stories from your audience, it allows your message and what you're saying to be perceived as more trustworthy and more realistic and more believable. Because it's not just you saying how great you are, it's other people standing up and speaking out for you on your behalf. As far as what kind of content falls under case study content, and pretty much anything goes here. I mean, if you're a fitness coach, you could share before and after transformation photos, with your client's permission, of course. If you're a business consultant, you could create a case study on how you helped a certain business grow their profits by 200% over a 90 day period. If you've got a dog walking business, you could post a video testimonial from a customer thanking you for your dedication and commitment to looking after their dog while they were away. All of it is helpful and all of it is good to highlight the fact that you're someone that other people trust too. Okay, next up is where you turn your content into cash with conversion content. When it comes to creating content, most businesses fall squarely into one of two different camps. The first is the all selling all the time camp. This is where every post and every message, and every tweet or story or carousel is screaming at people to buy my stuff now. Do it. The other camp is the all value all the time camp. They provide helpful tips and tricks and they post stories and tutorials and guides and do their best to deliver as much value as possible, but never actually tell anyone they have something to sell that could actually help them. Now, clearly neither of these two approaches is best and the secret to success lies somewhere in the middle. And this is what makes this whole strategy that I'm outlining for you here today so effective, giving you a solid mix of content to create and share that allows you to build trust and create connections and make sales. And it's the make sales part where conversion content really shines. This is because conversion content is where you create content designed specifically to get someone to take an action, any action really. But typically this is gonna be something like asking them to make a purchase or some kind of sale. 
But again, it could also be to sign up for an email list or newsletter or request more information or even to pick up the phone and just give you a call. Essentially, anything that makes a request that asks someone to do something is conversion content. And contrary to popular belief, sometimes it does hurt to ask, especially if you ask at the wrong time, which is why we're talking about conversion content last rather than first. But there's something else you can do as well, which will make everything you create 15 to 20 times more effective. And that is to use just a few simple, but incredibly effective psychological marketing techniques. So to show you what those are, as well as exactly how to use them, I've linked up a video right here that's gonna walk you step-by-step step through the most powerful and profitable marketing psychology hacks available today. So make sure to tap or click that now, and I'll see you in there in just a second.